EA Access will be coming to Steam soon, Bloodborne Remaster coming to PC, rumors and Battlefield 6 might be in the works. Hello everybody, my name is Gibbon Madness and welcome to a new episode of Top Gaming News. Embrace Studios, the parent company of THQ Nordic has bought 4A Games, the developer of Metro Cities and New World Interactive that is the developer of Insurgency Games. And they have been placed under Saber Interactive Subsidiary, another studio that is bought by Embrace Studios back in February. And now both of the studios have some news. First of all, 4A Games are working on a new AAA IP that leverages the decades of work they have done on Metro Cities while they team up with Saber Interactive to work on a new multiplayer game. 4A Games also said that they will be still working on Metro Games along with the publisher that is Deep Silver but now Saber Interactive will also be a part of that project. So if 4A Games are making a new multiplayer game that means it might be possible that it is for Metro series. I mean we have not seen any Metro multiplayer game but then again it also is possible that that is not the case because I believe that they are working on a completely new game for multiplayer. Again we just have to wait and see what happens. Now on the other side, New World Interactive is also working on a new game with Saber. They will also be working on a console port for Insurgency Sandstorm and they want to actually make more studios in different parts of the world and actually that will allow them to make more games with the help of Embracer Studios. New World Interactive has made two Insurgency games and both those games are really good and they are really very different. Insurgency Sandstorm is actually a much better game than Insurgency and those games are very tactical. It's a tactical shooter game with a tactical approach and those who have not played the game or that style of game, they will have a lot of issues when they start playing that game for the first time because the time to kill is very very small. So it's going to be really exciting to see what type of game are they going to make. Is it going to be another insurgency type of game, another tactical shooter or is it going to be something else? Have you guys played any of the insurgency games or any of the metro games? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't played those games, you're missing out on a really good amount of games, especially the metro games which you can play from Xbox Game Pass. It looks like EA Access is coming to Steam but it won't be called EA Access because they're changing the name and it is now being called EA Play. Now this EA Play will have everything that EA Access had in origin. Subscribers will get access to EA Library and pre-release trial versions. There will be also discounts for various other games. Along with that, the Origin Premier Access is also coming to Steam and it's gonna be also renamed to EA Play Pro, where you will get a wider range of EA games along with the newest releases. The last few months, EA has been bringing a lot of games from their library to Steam and one of their games that is Apex Legends has yet to arrive to Steam. I mean you can see in Steam but there is no date when it's coming out. And speaking of Apex Legends, Season 6 gameplay trailer dropped by and there has been so many changes to the maps and a new gun which I talked about in the last episode as well. Now another thing that has changed is having no trains which means there will be no trains in the game and all the tunnels where the train was going through, there will be cars instead with loots that you can loot of course and now those areas will be more chaotic than ever. It would be really interesting to see how this crafting will come into play. It seems like you can build weapon gear based on the resources that you collect. You can modify your weapon it seems. You can create ammo. There's stuff for daily and weekly which is interesting. There's also something called permanent. Not sure how all of these is gonna work out but tomorrow we will get to see how this all works out because season 6 is dropping by tomorrow. Well I cannot wait to play Rampart because she is really interesting plus she has a rail gun type of gun along with a shield which is really amazing so I cannot wait to play that character if I have enough credits to unlock her that is. Battlefield 5 did not work that well the game was terrible in sales and it failed very badly with the way the game was presented. EA's chief design officer himself told that if you don't want women in Battlefield 5 do not buy the game and that's exactly what people did. Battlefield 5 also had Battle Royale which is called Firestorm which actually went by like a storm. Nobody even talks about it anymore. Now ever since that there has been no talks about Battlefield until now. Otherwise I would not be talking about this game right now. It has been rumored that the next Battlefield is on the works. A Twitter profile by the name Tom Henderson who has leaked stuff about Call of Duty and most of it came true. He says that in Battlefield 6 they have in mind around 128 plus players. But the standard 32 versus 32 game will also be there. Well, now what do you mean by 128 plus players? Is it gonna be 128 versus 128? 
or is this a part of battle royale because apparently they are still interested in another battle royale from battlefield that's right because they're so much inspired by the success of warzone from call of duty they want to still make a battle royale game i mean it's quite funny how they're interested now in battle royale not when they actually made the first battle royale which is firestorm which died in probably a month now i believe that this 128 players will probably be in that battle royale because also call of duty is doing more than 200 players so maybe 128 players is what battlefield can handle but i'm not so sure if it's gonna be 128 versus 128 map in battlefield 6. now battlefield 5 could have been a good game only if ea would have allowed dice to work on it even more and because everything was done in a hurry they made a unfinished game and made it public for everyone to play and calling it Battlefield 5 and their own version of World War 2 which definitely did not work. And the reason why Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 were most played because those were actually finished games and the multiplayer side of things were actually a lot much more better and that is what Battlefield 6 needs right now. Battlefield 6 needs to get away from World War scenarios to modern shooter scenarios. That's where Battlefield shines in my opinion. In terms of battle royale, I do not want Battlefield to have a battle royale because that feels a lot weirder. But again, we have seen Warzone having such big success, maybe it is possible that they can build something better. Oh well, looks like the rumors behind Bloodborne Remaster coming to PC might be true since we are having more leaks about that very information. A YouTuber by the name PC Gaming Inquisition has actually talked about that Bloodborne Remaster is coming to PC, Tattoo on Steam. He did say that he cannot show any kind of screenshot and he believes that whatever his source is trying to tell him is actually true. He says that earlier this year, the team was working on the PC build of Bloodborne and trying to make sure that the PC build runs smoother. And recently, they went back again to make sure that all the bugs and all the issues were gone from the game. The game is a remaster, meaning it will have much better textures, better frame rates and 4K support. He also said that the game is supposed to be coming on PlayStation 5 and Sony will be announcing it in the next state of play, which is being speculated to happen sometime soon. The remaster is made by Qlock and Bluepoint Games and Qlock is the same company that made remaster of Dark Souls. Also another point to note that this is a rumor and PC Gaming Inquisition has not been proven right based on the leaks and rumors that he talks about. So all of this could be very much false but it might be possible that it is true because PC Gaming Inquisition says that he is very much sure that his sources are true which means it could be possible that Bloodborne is coming to PC. Similarly to how Horizon Zero Dawn came out on Steam from out of nowhere, it could be very possible that the same will happen for Bloodborne. We will just have to wait and see. I have not tried any Soul games, neither I have tried the Sekiro game which is also similar to that of Soul, but I would love to try this game if I get the chance to or if those games go to sale. Have you played Bloodborne? Let me know in the comments below because I believe that Bloodborne is possibly their most scariest game of all time. Last episode we talked about the new DLC expansion for Control and a new connected universe with these games which I cannot wait for. Now Remedy actually revealed a small gameplay footage of the DLC expansion over on Twitch and not only that they also revealed a trailer for Control Ultimate Edition which is coming to Steam on August 27th. That's the same date when the game came out last year on Epic Store and since it was exclusive we didn't get it on Steam and now after one year that exclusive offer is going off. Now the best thing is that this DLC will also be a part of the Ultimate Edition including photo mode and expeditions and will also have foundation DLCs included. Another cool thing is that this Ultimate Edition will be actually cheaper than the original game in Epic Store so it has been told that it's going to be around $40 and if original price is a thing in India still then we might have a much better discount offer for us in Steam. Also, that's not the only game that's coming this very month because tomorrow there's another gorgeous looking game coming out that is Microsoft Flight Simulator. The game has come a long way from looking like nothing to looking something absolutely stunning. They have been releasing videos of game and very recently they showed off different airports and planes that you get to fly and goodness gracious, everything looks so beautiful. It's gonna be one hell of an experience to fly off different portions of the world which is actually modeled in detail. I don't know how they did that. You can probably fly close by. I don't even know if that's possible because not all planes can go close by, but it would be really awesome to see how it is gonna look like. Because I don't know if my PC can handle Microsoft 
Flight Simulator. But I believe my PS4 can. But oh, wait a minute, I cannot buy the game because the game is way too costly. That's right, the game is costing around 4 k which is a bit too much but good thing it is coming to xbox game pass so that's amazing also what's happening this week is dc fandom which is happening on this very weekend on august 22nd and summer game fest twitter account has also tweeted about that warner brother game is actually making a new game which will be announced then and it could be very well be the next batman game Sam Fisher made a return to Rainbow Six Siege, which I never expected to happen. But at least we can see him, and he is old, which I also don't like that much. Maybe later down in the line, we'll have Prince of Persia in Rainbow Six Siege. We will have sword fights and sands of time. That would be hell of a game. <laughs> Just stay connected with more news like this. Make sure to smash that subscribe button, and since you're smashing, also hit that like button because that helps us out a lot, and it's not that very hard to do. My name is Gin Manis and I'll see you guys in the next coming episodes. Bye-bye.